So when I first saw this on YouTube, I was like, oh, that's a little magic, because uh, they had some guy you know, hitting himself and playing music. <laughs> and, and it turns out Drum Pants is a real product. You can buy it for 100 bucks, and we've got to see it right now. It's a wearable drum. My name's, who, oh. who are you? <laughs> uh, my name is Tyler Freeman. I'm CTO of Drum Pants. Uh, I'm a musician, a drummer. I've been in bands all my life, toured the US, Europe. I'm also a software engineer. I've uh, written a lot of apps and websites for Google, the Smithsonian, Adobe. Um, and I just really wanted to, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to make an instrument that I could just take with me everywhere, you know, wherever I was, whenever I had an inspiration to uh, play some music, I would just be able to pull it out of my pocket and play it there. And it turns out I didn't even need that. I could just build it into the pockets, right? So you were wearing one, right? Yeah, I am right now. <laughs> That's cool. Here, let me get the GoPro. And so you can't really see it, but you have um, one of these sensors. Let's actually open this up and yeah, show, so show what you're wearing. These are the drum pants. Um, and you have these soft fabric sensors here. Um, it connects to the iPad or any other device with Bluetooth. So you can actually control over 300 music apps in the App Store alone. And so these could be triggered to do different kinds of sounds, right? Yeah, you can uh, use drum sounds, piano sounds, uh, synthesizers. You can also. Um, upload your own sounds, and you can use it for more than just music. You can also control games, websites, um, you know, other apps like slideshow presentations, or if you're listening to Pandora, you want to skip a song, you just you know tap your clothes and it'll skip the next song. Oh, so it could be used for more than music. Yeah, indeed. It could actually be uh, used as a new kind of controller for other uh, for other things. Yeah, that's our vision. You know, we want people just to be able be able to control everything with just a tap of their clothes. Um, wow. So we actually have an SDK that developers can add these wearable interactions into their own apps and just use our sensors to control their apps. So this is fairly want. low cost, 100 bucks. Um, mm -hmm. You're selling it now, you're taking pre-orders, you're releasing it when? We are going to be shipping in August. Okay. Yeah. And so if I buy it today, I'll get it in August. Um, and you said 300 different apps? Like, uh, yeah, those space. are just music apps. So right. uh, any MIDI app on uh, iOS, you can use with the drum pants. And you can actually you know, assign each note. You can control looping apps. So a lot of people, you know, they'll hook their guitar into their iPad, and they'll play a guitar riff. And then they can use uh, the drum pants foot pedal that goes into your shoe. And they can uh, just stomp and then trigger a loop. And then they'll loop their guitar riff, and then they can play over that, play chords, play melodies, sing over it, and create a whole song just uh, wherever they are. You know, They don't even need a guitar. They can just play wherever they are, just on their clothes. Now, the Boombotics speaker you're wearing, that's not from you. That's from another startup. Yeah, that's from Boombotics. They're just down the street from us. They're an awesome company. It's a wearable. You know, It's got this little clip. It's super loud. <laughs> Yeah, um, and it works with drum pants because we have a we have a headphone jack. You can wear it with headphones, any kind of speaker. Um, we prefer the Boombotics though because it's nice and loud and wearable. Why did you get into this? Well, you were a musician. Is this something you wanted to do on stage? Oh yeah, I've just I've seen you know I've played in a lot of bands and I know a lot of musicians and I've just seen everyone's kind of frustrated with the music industry right now. Drummers are dropping dead left and right, right? No one wants to buy a huge $600 drum set and lug it to each show. So they're getting replaced by drum machines or you know, a $5 iPad app, right? But the playing the iPad is not really the best experience. You're just like tapping on this glass screen. There's no tactile feedback. There's no velocity sensitivity. So we wanted to bring that kind of, um, you know, the, the tactile, uh, organic feeling of playing an instrument back to iPad and software music. Have you released these to any uh, professional musicians yet? Is anybody using them in concert that we, we can see? Uh, we have. We've just sent out our beta kits to a select few uh, Kickstarter backers who paid a little extra to get theirs early. 
And so we're excited to see what they're doing. We're also going to be shipping them to um, other musicians and who are going to use them in their performances and recording songs and videos with them. So, Do you think anybody's going to use them to control lighting? Because you know, the, now when you go to an EDM concert, uh, the lights are 70% of the show, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. The totally. rest of the music is playing off a of Macintosh and, you know, with somebody exactly. controlling a little bit. But really, it's playing off a of Macintosh. So putting on a show is part of uh, the performance. Now. Yeah, and that we can totally do that really easily um, with our app. It can also control any kind of uh, visuals app. So I'm actually also a VJ, so I do uh, live video projections at concerts sometimes. And um, using the drum pants is great for that, just because you know a lot of VJs are just stuck behind the computer with their mouse or whatever, and it just like kind of brings them away and gives them a more performative feel, and they get to have a lot more fun uh, playing, you know, playing the visuals. You're over here at uh, Wearable World, right? Are yeah, well, that's that? our incubator, and they are uh, they're great. They've been helping us out, um, you know, giving us contacts in the hardware industry, you know, contact manufacturers, um, also giving us a lot of contacts, uh, you know, with investors and people who are really interested in using the drum pants and distributing them. So far, you haven't taken any investment other than the Kickstarter campaign, right? True, yeah, we're completely bootstrapped, wow. and we've just been... Uh, Chug it along on our on our pre sales. So you built this uh, with what your own money or or just doing Kickstarter stuff? Yeah, mainly just our own investment. Um, a lot of blood and tears. And <laughs> tell me about the sensors. And that's by the way, congratulations because uh, very few companies try to do it on their own on their own credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And that's cool. What are what are the sensors that are inside uh, inside these? Uh, yeah. So these. You might pull them out so you can Yeah, so them. the strips are actually, uh, they're made out of soft uh, Velcro fabric. Yeah. And so you can actually just Velcro them into any clothes you want. Or if you don't want to Velcro, you can just put them in your pocket. Some people do that. We also have straps that you can strap them onto your legs. Uh, I know a lot of the professional drummers like to do that because they really want it really solid when they're performing. Um, so we have velocity sensitive. Uh, sensors in here, and then we also have the foot pedal sensors, which are completely uh, fabric, completely bendable pressure sensors. Yeah. And so you can put those in your shoe, and we've uh, you know, taken great care to make them really thin, so they're very comfortable to wear in your shoe. You don't even notice that you're wearing them, um, and they can detect pressure. So you have uh, kick drum, hi-hat pedal, loop pedals, um, but you can also control other crazy stuff. You could also even use them for like an activity tracker app. So like it's actually tracking each step that you take and like how hard your steps are and when each foot is leaving off the ground. It's a lot more accurate than just an accelerometer based wow. uh, tracker. I never even thought about that. Um, you know, Apple has this new, well, tell me what you saw at WWDC and, and how this is going to fit in, into your system. Yeah, so we've actually been uh, WWDC's uh, Apple's developer conference that just happened a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, and they just, what was really exciting is they just released, um, they just announced uh, the MIDI over Bluetooth um, official support, basically, for iOS. And what does that mean? So that means, um, like, a MIDI device, uh, a Bluetooth device, like the drum pants, can communicate with the iPad. And, you know, we had, before they announced it, we were doing it for eight months before that. But now that we have their official support behind it, we can, you know, uh, we'll be one of the first uh, companies to actually utilize that um, feature. And we'll, we've been clamoring for that support for a while, so we're really excited to see them come through with that and, uh, you know, give a better experience and a more unified experience to musicians with the iPad. Where do you think this space of wearables is going? Is it going to bifurcate into different vertical markets? Because this is sort of a vertical market, if you want to uh, put it that way. It's a big vertical market because there's a lot of kids who want to play music <laughs> yeah. while they're walking around or do stuff, you know, well, with um, their clothes. Yeah, so I mean, the drum pants are really only the, f they're the first product on our wearable controller platform. So we want to use our sensors and our technology for much more than just music. And we want to, um, you know, enable developers to use our SDK and use our sensors to add this kind of wearable interaction into their own apps. Because um, Gartner estimates by 2017, over half of all 
uh, mobile device interactions will be through a wearable device. And so we want to make sure that that is done right, because we have a lot of ideas, we have a big vision for it, and I think um, it's t the time is now. Um, Google yesterday announced a new watch. Are you thinking about, uh, you know, and Apple is rumored to come out with a watch. In fact, I know they're coming out with a watch. Mm -hmm. uh, are, are you thinking about how to integrate this stuff into a watch? And what, if, if you are thinking that way, I'd be interested in hearing what you're thinking. Yeah, I mean, uh, we could. We're, we're trying to shy away from uh, making any kind of like fashion accessory. We want to make a more modular system that you can augment your own style, your own clothes. Uh, with our sensors instead of like wearing a watch you know a lot of wearables you see nowadays are you know like kind of plastic armbands that you have to wear and maybe if you're lucky you'll get them in different colors but you know that's kind of a big problem that a lot of these wearable companies are running into is like you know everyone has their own style they have their own invi individuality and they don't want to wear you know this kind of cheesy looking device so I think um, so. Our direction is, you know, we don't we don't make the clothes, we don't make the fashion. We just uh, help you make your fashion interactive. Uh, that's cool. Um, can you j uh, parallel uh, joins multiple kits, so I could have eight sensors instead of four? Or? You can. So uh, the basic kit comes with the six sensors, the four drum pads, and the two uh, foot pedals, and you can actually upgrade to up to twelve sensors total okay. with a single kit. And then you can, uh, yeah, you can use multiple ones if you want. Uh, we've had many a jam session with uh, multiple musicians all wearing drum pants, playing. You know, one people, one person will be playing the beats, playing the drums. Other people will be playing melodies and harmonies, and it's really, really fun to see like that kind of collaboration. But it can happen really, literally anywhere you are. You know, in the park, uh, in your living room. Uh, you don't need to lug your instruments for it to play. There, there's a lot of innovation in instruments. Um, uh, I saw. I was at a music conference and I saw people uh, uh, playing with leap motion, 3D sensors mm -hmm. to do in, new kinds of instruments. Uh, how do you think this space is going to evolve? And because you probably have competitors already, maybe not doing the exact same shtick, but uh, uh, that are do doing new kinds of instruments. Where do you think the instrument world is going? Yeah, I mean, the, that's the really exciting um, part about now, what's happening now with the instruments is everyone is kind of making their own custom instruments. So it's a lot, a lot more musicians are learning to code or they're learning to use this uh, new hardware in, in weird ways. And they're kind of very custom, custom built instruments. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of performers making their own instruments. Um, out of hardware, there's actually this one of my favorite bands, uh, Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum from Oakland, and they they used to make like huge, you know, percussion instruments and like the sledgehammer dulcimer, which was like, you know, a twenty foot long, huge bass strings, and you would hit it with a hammer to play the bass. Um, you know, and those are our cool physical instruments. But now we're moving into the world of software and virtual instruments and being able to really customize the sound so it's exactly the way you want it. And, it ex and you can play it exactly the way you want it and wear it how you want it or situate it, you know, uh, according yeah. to your unique style. So well, gonna, I, I think so. this opens up all sorts of new capabilities. I, I saw a band, and I, I forget the band, if it was OAR or no, it wasn't OAR. It was a band I saw it live in the vineyard, and the guy walked out with a a toolbox <laughs> and then he it, while he was performing he went like this and it made this boom boom sound <laughs> you know? and it's like wow that was surprising that was uh, and it made the performance better right yeah. so wearing something and tapping it all of a sudden and uh, doing stuff is yeah really it just, cool. you know it it makes it more fun for the musician but and also the audience so it's not like you know they're not especially at edm concert where a lot of musicians are just doing everything on their laptop now you don't have to just like sit there watching some guy on the laptop like, oh, is he playing the song or is he just checking his email? You know, now it's like you can see him physically playing his body, um, playing these new virtual instruments, you know, waving his hands around, using the leap motion or whatever. And it makes for a much more exciting performance and a uh, much more unique experience. Is San Francisco uniquely qualified to do these new kinds of instruments, or is this uh, happening in Berlin and Amsterdam? And oh yeah, Vegas? actually, uh, what's really interesting is uh, over half of our Kickstarter backers were international, so a lot from Europe, uh, Australia, Japan. Um, so a lot of these 
um, you know, and the EDM uh, market is huge over oh, yeah. in Germany and Europe, so um, I really well, think... Well, it's finally uh, getting hot here. Coachella, the EDM was the biggest tent, and at the EDC, they had, uh, what, 200,000 people oh, wow. in Vegas oh. just last weekend, so it's catching on. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, indeed. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Where do Thanks, I get Robert. this? This, uh, you can get at drumpants.com. And it's 100 bucks, 99 bucks. Yeah, it starts at $99. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.